You are welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing how to calculate the cost surface area and the volume of cylinder and cone. So first let's see the formula for calculating the total surface area of a cylinder. So a cylinder has a closed cylinder has a curved surface and two circular ends. That is the top and the base. So the total surface area is giving us the curved surface area plus the circular areas. That is if the top and the base are closed. This is the formula for the total surface area. 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Okay. Now let's say an example. A cylindrical cup has a circular base of radius 7 cm and height of 10 cm. Taking the value of pi to be 3.142, calculate its curved surface area, B, the area of its circular base. So let's say how to do that. We say that the curved surface area of a cylinder is given by the formula 2 pi RH. So we just substitute in into that formula and we get our answer 439.88 centimeter square because we are talking about area. So area of circular base is pi r square and our pi is 3.142 our radius is 7 so 7 times 7 and we'll get our answer right there okay now let's move ahead now we'll see volume of a cylinder first let's see the, the formula with an example Find the volume of a cylinder with a radius of 4 cm and height of 9 cm. So volume of a cylinder is given by the formula pi r square h. Okay, so we just substitute in. So 3.142 times 4 times 4 times 9. And we get our volume right there. Centimeter cube. Okay, for volume. Now let's see a cone. First, we have a cone right there. H there is the height. S is called the slant height. Y R is the radius of the circular end. So the surface area is given by pi R S plus pi R square. While the volume of a cone is given by pi R square H all divided by 3. Okay, so let's see an example now. Find the surface area and volume of a cone with radius 7 cm, slant height 11 cm, and the height is 9 cm. So the surface area is pi rs plus pi r square. So everything we need is given. So we put in into the above formula. So we multiply the first terms there, we get 241.934. The second one. Also, we got that. Then we we'll add everything together. Then we we'll put our unit centimeter square. So the volume we see is given by pi r square h all over three. So first we we'll put put in our value of pi, put in our value of radius, then the height. Everything divided by three. Okay. So our volume for the cone is four six one point eight seven centimeter cube. So right here, have assessment question to see how far you've understood the video. Thank you.